Phone tech net here, uh, letting you know that I'm I'm still alive. It's been a, long, a bit too long since I've done a, a video for you. College does some crazy things, and unfortunately, you know I've I've had to sacrifice a couple things in, in uh, this this project of mine. Uh, unfortunately, it was one of the things I had to you know, sacrifice, or had to be sacrificed for the sake of my time and, uh, and grades and, and financial whatnot. So um, anyway, I come to you bringing the February, what is today, February 18th, uh, CyanogenMod Mod 10.1 uh, build for my Verizon Galaxy Note 2. I'm um, just kind of showing you the basics of it, let you know what's going on. So, all right, let's start completely fresh again. This is running actually on Android 4.2.2, which was just uh, released a couple days ago. The guys at Sanogen uh, got it released nice and quickly. So, so far, uh, it's been running very smoothly. So, as you can see here, you have your Android 4.2 uh, lock screen. That keeps starting off on me. I like that transition effect it's got, like a TV. Um, what I really like is the fact that I can add different widgets to uh, my lock screen here. Let me see if I can show you without showing you any personal info. Whatever, it sounds like it matters. Um, so this is kind of what I, all I have right now. You can add so far these um, widgets to it. You can add other ones too. These are the ones that have been optimized for it. Um, it it's not that you can't do other ones. It just kind of advises against it. I haven't tried it yet because I don't have a need for much else to my messaging. It's just very convenient. Um, let's go back to that lock screen real quick. And then you have your camera, which is actually hugely convenient. There's been a couple of bugs every once in a while with it. Um, I'll have it where yeah, it'll say can't connect to the camera, but if I try it again, it'll work usually. So it's it's been fairly consistent, but you have to remember that you know this is Cyanogen mod, and it's not perfectly stable yet because it's kind of experimental. So as you can see, we got Android 4.2 camera. Um, it looks a little different. You can fo touch the focus, and you got a little circle. Um, if you want to mess with any of the settings, just hold anywhere. You can kind of swipe around, like right here is flash. Right down here is the different uh, kind of lighting features. I just put it, up, put it on automatic. Down here is all your settings. I'm actually surprisingly nifty for j just having a nice, convenient all of your settings right there. Um, brightness, and then you know switch to a uh, front-facing camera. And then, of course, the uh, anticipated photosphere. It is here for us. Actually, this is panorama. I lied. Photo Where is photosphere? I'm going to have to flash that one on there. Is this panorama? Yeah, this is panorama. I was going to save a bunch of pictures. But I'll have to... Maybe that's not the most updated photosphere. Or most updated uh, camera app. It doesn't have photosphere on it. My last one did, actually. Um, I, I was running Paranoid Android 3 and uh, Pac-Man. I'll show you those. I have some uh, Nandroids saved for that so I can get to them real quickly. And then when Beans come, Beans Town comes out with his build 10, I'll probably go to that for a little bit. Um, as you can see, you get your, t your typical Cyanogen mod um, layout here. Actually, I'm going to add a little, uh, little clock widget here for you. Gives you some ideas. These are also widgets that I have thanks to some of the applications that I have. Um, but I like this nice clean looking clock over here. Let's make it a little bigger. There we go. I like it centered up here. Don't want to interfere with my little dude's little buddy over there. And everything's very clear. You can customize the home screen, uh, the grid. It comes standard, I think, for, uh, for whatever you want to call them apps, shortcuts, whatever. Uh, will fit on the home screen. Um, amazingly smooth and fluid. I mean, I've got a. I can't emphasize that enough. No other, no other uh, ROM has run as smoothly as this so far. Again, a little bit buggy, but that's to be expected. Um, I haven't tried it, but I've heard Bluetooth hardly works or doesn't work at all. Again, something that they're taking into consideration and trying to fix. As well as GPS can be a bit flaky, but it'll be worked on and it is being worked on nonetheless. So your app drawer is pretty much the standard AOSP uh, Android 4.2 uh, looking uh, app drawer. Um, you've got your notification bar down here. I use my Avast for my uh, mobile security, for antivirus, whatever you want to call it. And then Deep Sleep for my uh, battery saver. Who knows if it actually does anything, but that's what I use. 
And then obviously your clock, you can go over here. I forget exactly what this is called, but I really do like it. It's quite convenient. One thing that CyanogenMod put in there, um, I don't know about recently, but within the past couple of weeks, um, is a cool little feature where you can just swipe back and forth and you'll go between the two. Very convenient, believe it or not. And then, of course, two fingers to go there. Uh, let's see here. Messaging is your standard uh, 4.2 messaging. I'm not really concerned about my contacts like everybody else because you don't have the phone number, so I don't care. Uh, let's see. Standard phone. Standard contacts, you know, 4.2 looking. Uh, Chrome actually has been a little buggy with me, I gotta admit. Um, more frequently than I'd like to admit. And it's a little frustrating. I, I use stock browser and it worked just fine. Now let's go into settings a little bit and show you a couple things before I wrap this video up. On Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage standard, your standard uh, NFC, all that stuff there, airplane mode, which you can actually access airplane mode via this screen here. It's kind of hard to hold a camera and do this at the same time, but you can access airplane mode there. Uh, let's see, we'll get into the launcher now. On um, home screen, like I was saying, you can you know, change the grid of it. Uh, you can do you can do some customization with it. It's not a whole lot. CyanogenMod isn't necessarily about um, this customization. Uh, just mainly bringing you the stock Android feel, which it does very well. As you can see, it's running their Trebuchet launcher, um, which I really like. Thumbs up to you guys. Uh, lock screen, basically, you know, pretty much your standard stuff. Screen security. You can change your uh, shortcuts wherever they are. Uh, whatever. Basically, you can change the function of these. So, which direction you see right now? I have a couple different ones. These are all the really all the ones that I use, so I leave them like that. Uh, let's see themes. Any themes that's compatible with uh, CyanogenMod 10.1, you would be using it right here. System. Just a couple other basic uh, basic features. Uh, let's see a clock. All that stuff. Power menu. Notification light. Hardware keys. Advanced, uh, it's, it's, there's not too much in here, it's a little bit with your LED and uh, colors, negative mode, haptic feedback, not too much uh, fancy stuff there. Performance, you can over, underclock, over slash underclock your CPU, do whatever you want to do with that. Um, I choose to leave it alone for now, uh, I just it's running smoothly, I don't need to do anything with it. So I'll show you right now, it is running Android 4.2.2, um, I'm running on the baseband i605 VRAL JB, which is the standard, uh, standard baseband. Uh, let's see, kernel, as you can tell, CyanogenMod, blah, 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 blah. I'm running today's uh, nightly uh, memory, all that stuff, build date. So, pretty much standard stuff that you probably don't even care about. And let's see, you get your standard options there. Um, I think I think it's basically all I need to cover. Uh, it's really, it's not a very fancy ROM, but it's not intended to be a fancy ROM. It's intended to be CyanogenMod. It's intended to be stock Android, and it does a fantastic job of delivering that. So uh, you know, if any of you guys who have helped out on on this uh, CyanogenMod project or CyanogenMod project, um, big thanks from me over here. I really do appreciate your hard work and uh, time. Because you know most of these guys are, are do it out of their own, on their own free time, out of their own free will, and donations are the only, only thing that they get out of it, and the satisfaction of knowing that it works. So uh, thanks again to you guys there. Um, I'm I'm gonna start getting back into it. I'm gonna be linking all my uh, phone tech net, uh, phone tech net like alerts and everything to my phone. So I'll, I'll get there right away. I do apologize if anybody has asked questions and I haven't gotten to you. Um, I will work on that. I promise you that. But aside from that, I think that's all I need to cover. So if there's anything in particular you want to know about CyanogenMod 10.1 on my Verizon Note 2, feel free to ask, and I will do my best to show you. So for now, this is Peter here signing off. Hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped you, you know, decide whether or not you wanted to uh, get it. One thing to note is that uh, with this, it is stock Android. It is no, there are no touch with features. So the S Pen. It's not necessarily rendered useless, but any sort of uh, things you would get with your TouchWiz ROMs are, are gone. Um, you don't get S-Note, you don't get uh, AirView, you don't get the ability to hold the button on the S-Pen, circle it, and then cut out that part. You don't get it. Um, I really wish you could, 
Uh, and with a 4.2 TouchWiz ROM, that will happen in time, but you have to give developers some time because it's not an easy feat to accomplish. Uh, not as easy as porting over uh, you know, 4.2 because there is no 4.2 TouchWiz uh, as of now, officially, so it's going to take them a little bit to develop that. Um, but anyway, that's one of the biggest things. Oh, one last thing. Battery life is absolutely awesome. Uh, I, I was using it. It was at 86% one, one time I checked this morning, and I went and checked probably a couple hours later. I was using it on and off, and it was down to 78-ish, so that, I think that's pretty good uh, by my standards. But anyway, that's all I have for real this time. So questions, hit me up. All right, guys. Peter here signing off. Later.